Hi guys, today we are going to look at a watch which forms a part of the Citizen Aqualand series of diver watches. This watch is uh, the JP 2008E. As I said, it, it is part of the Citizen Aqualand series of watches which are very popular amongst diver, divers all around the world. Now before we get down to the review, uh, this review is brought to you by creationwatches.com. Please visit www.creationwatches.com for great deal deals on citizen diver watches. So as I mentioned this particular model is the JP2008E. This is one of the most popular diver watches I would say around the whole world. Any diver would be able to recognize this watch because you know this is just so popular amongst divers. The Citizen Aqualand series was introduced a long time ago and uh, Citizen has produced many great diver watches over the years and this probably has to be one of the more popular ones. Now let's take a closer look at this watch. This watch features what is called a depth meter as you can see here. This depth meter is what uh, gives the watch's functionality to measure the depth when you are actually diving. And just a word of caution here, uh, this watch should not be used as a primary depth gauge while diving. Divers are required to have a separate instrument uh, for measuring the depth when they are diving. So this watch serves more of a backup mechanism if the actual uh, depth gauge fails for some reason. As you can see the watch hands have an orange lining and the hour markers are luminous so that means they will glow in dark or under water if there is not sufficient light. As you can see the watch has a, a digital display at the top and this is where most of the functions of the watch will be uh, displayed. Now this watch has many functions. Let's take a look at uh, some of the basic ones. Uh, let me just start to get this. All right. So as you can see, uh, it is displaying the date and the day right now. If I press the button on the on the right hand side top, it's going to change to the time display. That's the second display. Back to the date display. Now, if you want to change the date, you can hold this button down for a couple of seconds and then you will enter the mode where you can adjust the time, the date, the date and seconds as well. Now I just want to get out of this which uh, I managed to do. Now some of the other functions of this watch are accessible via this button uh, at the left hand side bottom. I press this once this is the alarm function. Right now the alarm is off. If I want to set the alarm, I can click this particular button. And then I can click this button and change the time to which I want to set the alarm to. Now, for now I will just uh, switch the alarm off. Now if I press the lower left button again, this is, as you might guess, is the stopwatch mode. So if I press this, it's going to start the stopwatch. Press this again. Pause the stopwatch. If I press this button, it resets the stopwatch. Now let's see what else this watch has. Press this button again. It goes back to the day and date mode. So that's some of the functions which you would expect to find in a digital watch which are all here. Now as I mentioned this is a diver's watch, it's a diving watch so obviously it has uh, uh, functions for diving. To enter into the dive mode you have to press this particular button at the lower left down for a couple of seconds. So I'm just going to do that. There you go, it has entered the dive mode now. Obviously I'm not diving right now so uh, you know <laughs> I'm, I won't be able to tell you if the depth meter is accurate or no but it is fairly accurate. This watch uh, can store up to four uh, diving logs 
so right now it is uh, the number one is to indicate that we are in diving log number one so if you have dived before it can store up to four of your logs now to access the details of the diver diving log number one I just have to press the button on the right hand side top so that will tell me the time the maximum depth to which the dive was completed and the time of the dive I mean for how long the dive was there you go that is dialogue number one if I press this button again it will go to dialogue number two but there are no entries for dialogue number two I mean the number one dialogue is uh, when this watch has been tested by a citizen so that is what is stored as number one right now that's three which, which won't be there won't be any details for number three as well that's four and that is the depth meter uh, I can adjust the depth if I want but you know I wouldn't do that because I'm not diving right now that is the diving time and back to the diving blocks if I press this button on the right hand top the watch will go into diving mode so that means you it will start measuring the depth if I put this watch in water right now it will start measuring the depth but uh, I'm not going to do that unfortunately so I would like to go back to the normal dive mode and then if I want to exit the dive mode I just press this button on the lower left again for two seconds and uh, I'm out of the dive mode now so I think yeah that's about it uh, please you know don't take any information that I have presented here to be 100% accurate I might make some mistakes while uh, reviewing some of these watches so always refer to the user manual uh, before you actually use this watch for diving so now I will just you know show you the user manual a bit so all the watches will come with uh, a JP Citizen Aqualand JP2 you know, XXX user manual the XXX means uh, you know this this manual is valid for any watch model that starts with JP2 there's another version which Citizen has uh, which is the JP2004 which is exactly the same as this one but it is a two-toned watch and the manual is, explains everything in detail all the things that you would need to know to use this watch the manual comes in uh, multiple languages I think it comes in uh, German, French, Italian and Spanish if I am not wrong.